Today, we're working legs, back, chest, shoulders, and butt. This is a full body workout. You'll need a set of dumbbells, a resistance band, and a stability ball if you have one. If you don't have a stability ball, no worries, I'll be giving you some alternatives. We're gonna be doing seven exercises today. The bent over row, the front raise, the goblet squat, push-ups, the tricep press, ab ball slides, and the banded glute bridge. So when you're ready, let's get started. We're gonna get started with the bent over row. You'll need two dumbbells, palms facing your quads. We're gonna hinge at the hips to a nice comfortable position. We're gonna stay right here. We're gonna bring the dumbbells up towards our waist. Find a point on the floor to keep your eyes focused on, keep your neck in alignment. Let's go. Up and squeeze your shoulder blades together. There's two. Abs are tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Rest it out. Take a deep breath. We're gonna do it again. So when you're ready, a nice comfortable stance, shoulders pulled back, abs are tight, hinge forward. Now we're gonna bring those dumbbells up to our waist. Let's go. One, really squeeze those shoulder blades. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, last one, nice job, bring it on up, rest it out for a second or two, and we're going to do it again, so when you're ready, shoulders pulled back, abs are tight, hinge at the hips, bring the weights up, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job and rest it out. Up next is the front raise. We're gonna start off with palms facing our quads, standing up nice and tall, shoulders pulled back, abs are tight. We're gonna lift the dumbbells up to approximately shoulder height and right back down. Let's go up and down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job, rest it out. We're gonna do that two more times through. When you're ready, shoulders pulled back, abs are tight. Let's go. There's one, two, slight bend in your elbows, three, four, five, Seven. There's eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, rest it out. We're gonna do it one more time, but make sure you take a rest. Hit pause if you need a longer rest. All right, we're gonna stand up nice and tall. Abs are tight. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just two more. You can do it. One more. Nice job. And rest it out. 
For the goblet squat, we're gonna need one dumbbell. You can hold it up by your chest, you can hold it down by the, um, towards the floor. We're gonna do a goblet squat. So you'll need one dumbbell. You can hold it in your hands, up high, let it hang low. I like to grip it underneath the ball of the dumbbell and then just keep it up close to my chest or grab it this way and just hold it between my hands. Either way, whatever is comfortable for you. Then we're gonna have a moderate stance, maybe about shoulder hip width apart. Your toes can be pointed out a little bit at an angle if you would prefer. Abs are tight, shoulders are pulled back and we're gonna squat it down. Let's go. Down and up. Make sure your knees are staying wide. Point them out to the sides of the room. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Nice job. We're just going to rest that out for a moment. Think about your stance. How did that feel? You want your feet more narrow, a little bit wider. It all depends on our own body mechanics as to what's going to feel right for you. So we're going to do it again. Get your dumbbell in place, whatever feels better for you, or a kettlebell works great as well. Abs are tight, shoulders pulled back. Make sure we keep our chest up. Let's go. Down and up. Think about spreading those knees wide. Don't let them cave in. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. Rest it out. We have to do that one more time through. So when you're ready, don't rush this, but when you're ready, comfortable stance. Grab your dumbbell or kettlebell. Shoulders are pulled back. Think about pressing your knees open nice and wide. Let's go. Down and up. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Nice job, and rest it out. Up next are push-ups. You can check the videos in the corner for some demos. I'm also going to demo them because I want you, I want every single person to do these. There is no one that can't do some variation of a push-up. So I'm gonna give you some options. We're gonna start off on our knees. Hands on the floor. Knees are back behind you. If this is as far as you can go, because you're already wobbly, and then I want you to stay here and really focus on squeezing your abs, squeeze your hands, press your body up so you're extending your, through your shoulders and just hold it. And then if you can make a couple of inches down, hold it there, press it up. Go as far as you can go. If that's all you can do, that's a starting place. So start there. If you can go farther, go all the way down or as far as you, is comfortable for you. Take it down and back up. If you're more advanced or you wanna to try to go on your toes, go up on your toes. Same thing applies. Abs are tight, your back is flat, your arms are pushed up. You can hold it here if you would like. You can also come down for a couple of inches, come back up, or you can go a little farther. Whatever is comfortable for you. So you don't have to go all the way to the floor to do a push-up. There are progressions. For anyone who's having difficulty getting on the floor or your knees hurt to be in the knee position, you can always do them against the wall. 
and I will put a link to the video where I show some progressions on how to do the wall push-up. All right, so decide which kind of push-up you would like to do, and we're gonna do 10 of these, or as many as you can. If you can do one, do one, all right? So I'll do the first set here on my knees. Knees are back behind your butt, feet are on the floor, abs are in nice and tight. Again, go down as far as is comfortable for you. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job. Sit it back and rest it out. Push-ups are hard. There's no way around it, but they're also incredibly rewarding when you can do them. So uh, we're just gonna keep working on them. You're gonna see me throwing push-ups in a lot of my videos because I think they are so incredibly important. All right, so deep breath. We're gonna do it again. So again, decide what kind of push-up you wanna do, how far deep you wanna go, all a personal preference. All right, now, or if you wanna do, let's say, let's just, for anyone who wants to do this with me, I'm gonna do, let's say, I'll do two on my toes and then I'll drop to my knees. If you can do three and then drop to your knees, that's okay too, but I'll start with two and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go up on my toes, I'm gonna go down all the way, but you go as far as you can and we'll do two, then we'll go to our knees. Let's go, down, and up, down. Now switch to your knees if you would like and finish. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. And sit it back. Great. I'd love it. Drop me a comment and let me know how you're doing on your push-ups. Are you advancing to one or two on your toes? Are you waking it through the ones on your knees? Are you on the wall? There's no right or wrong answer. Just let me know where you are. All right, we're gonna do that one more time through. We, if you were with me on the last one, we did two on our toes. So let's see if we can do four on our toes and then we'll switch to our knees. If you need to switch sooner, please go ahead and do that. All right, starting off on our hands, take our toes, our feet back. If you wanna do this with me or stay on your knees, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna take it down, let's go. One, two, three, four, switch to your knees, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Sit it back and rest it out. Up next is the tricep press. So grab your dumbbells. Let's lay back on the floor, feet on the floor, back shoulders press into the floor. Arms are close to your side. We're gonna press the dumbbells straight up, bring them right back down. When you lower, you should feel your arms like rubbing against the side of your body. That's how close your arms should be. Abs are tight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one here, bring it down. Nice job. Drop your weights, roll it up. We're just gonna rest for a second or two. Please feel free, take a pause. Take a little bit longer break. All right, but when you're ready, come on back. Grab your dumbbells. Let's go back to the floor. Feet on the floor, abs pressed to the floor, arms by your side, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job, bring it down. Lower your weights, roll it up, rest it out. When you're ready, we're gonna do that one more time through. So grab your weights, roll on back, feet on the floor, abs pressing your back to the floor, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Bring it all the way down, drop your weights, roll it up, and rest it out. Up next is the ab ball slide. I know some of you, and probably many of you, do not have a stability or an ab ball, so I have a couple of options. You can check out the videos in the corner, but I'll talk about them just briefly. So you can get actual sliders um, to put underneath your feet. So one side is more of a fabric and the other side is plastic and it's slick so that it will slide depending on what type of flooring you have. These work great. If you have nothing, this is just a plastic like picnic plate. Um, so you can have one or two of these, put them underneath your feet and this works as well. Check out the video. But my overall 100% favorite is using the stability ball. So that's what we're going to use. But if you don't have it, these other options do definitely work your hamstrings. You will feel a burn, let me tell you. All right, so we're gonna get into position. Placing our feet on top of the ball if you have it, or if you don't, on your sliders or on your plastic plate or whatever you have that will slide. So we're gonna have our feet on the ball. Now this also works a little bit of balance because the ball is gonna wobble around. We have to stabilize it. So we're gonna press in with our feet. I like to press my elbows into the floor as I lift my core up off the floor. So I'm gonna go up, get stable. I kind of walk my feet out so that's a comfortable position. Now I'm gonna pull my feet and the ball in towards my body. We're gonna do 10 of these. Keep the abs nice and tight, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep going, eight, two more, nine, last one, ten, nice job, bring your butt to the floor, rest it out. We're just gonna stay here, nice comfortable position, resting it out. We're gonna do it again. Now you probably need to replace your feet on the ball, they tend to move. So make sure you get your foot in a nice position. We're gonna do it again. So lift your butt up off the floor, abs are nice and tight. Bring the ball in, let's do 10, let's go. One, keep your hips up, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, lower your butt to the floor. We're gonna stay here, we're gonna rest. We're gonna do it one more time through. So re get your, reposition your feet. Elbows into the floor. Let's lift our butt off the floor. Last time through, let's go. Take it up, bring your knees, your feet in. One, two, three, four. Abs are tight. Five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Lower your butt and roll it up and rest it out. Up next is the banded glute bridge. So you, if you have a band, 
placing the band a couple of inches above your knees around your quads. If you don't, you can do this with no band. We're gonna lay back on the floor, bring your feet in close to your butt, elbows press into the floor, or your hands can be out straight, That's whatever is comfortable for you. Abs are tight. We're gonna lift our butt up, squeeze at the top, then lower. We're gonna do 15 of these, let's go. One, really squeeze at the top. Two, think about pressing your knees open wide if you have the band. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, and four. Five, nice job, rest it out. We're just gonna rest for a moment. Grab your breath. Get back into position. Pressure against the band if you have one. Let's take it up, let's go. One, two, three, four. Really squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Five more. One, two, three, four. Last one. Nice job. Quick rest. And then we're going to do it again. So feet close to your butt, knees pressed out against the band, elbows into the floor, abs are tight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job. Roll it up and rest it out. Great job. If you enjoyed today's workout, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that now so you can continue building muscle and creating a body you love. I'll see you in the next video.